We uh, got uh, short yardage, you know, goal line situations. Really wanted to uh, see guys compete in, in those situations. Uh, it's one of the more physical practices that we'll have in, in camp. Thought the guys came out to work. Thought the defense really uh, responded some, some, to some challenging uh, uh, places that they were put in. Uh, but I thought all in all, we got some, some really good work in. Uh, you know, as you get deeper into camp, uh, you know, we have different guys that are available and unavailable for, for practice, and we're working through that. But uh, uh, I will tell you that uh, you know, we're, we're excited about you know this being halfway through the, the health of our team and the availability uh, for guys. Uh, you know, here in a couple of weeks against Notre Dame, you know, we don't have any concerns with uh, with anybody that we've started with, and really uh, been. Uh, and have some very promising uh, reports of guys that are going through the rehab. So uh, something we're, we're uh, continuing to work through, but it's given a given an opportunity. Uh, you know, in today's in today's age, when when guys are unavailable, it prov provides a new uh, uh, opportunity for others. And uh, you know, we're getting a lot of guys uh, quality reps, uh, continuing to work through that. And uh, you know, I'm excited about the the depth that we're we're working to build and uh, the competition that we have. You got some looks like you got some guys back on defense. We did, and that was something that was uh, was good. It was good to see. Uh, the, Higher numbers at some positions for, for to, you know, we've got some young players that I think have an opportunity to be able to compete and uh, make this football team better. And you know, it's good to get them back out there on the field. I know you have one more practice before Sunday scrimmage, but what do you want to get out of Sunday scrimmage? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a continued growth and improvement. You know, we still have some things uh, uh, just in operations, and it's and it's all it's. Uh, it's players, coaches, everybody involved in our communication, making sure that we're as efficient as we possibly can be, as consistent as we can possibly be. Um, you know, when we find ourselves find ourselves uh, in the different uh, situations that are going to show up on um, on Sunday, uh, we're not going to you know it's going to play. We're going to play it like a game. So it's you know I'm not going to put them in a specific a specific place. I'm going to let the game play itself out. And uh, you know, other than maybe a couple two minutes, just to ensure that we get that. I mean, I want to uh, I want to, I want guys to have to react in the in in the moment. And so, uh, you know, I, I think it's uh, I think we're we're on track. You know, there's still some things that are uh, you know, probably you know, not as crisp. Or I know they're not as crisp as what they need to be. But you know, guys have to embrace those those uh, opportunities to grow. And uh, you know, I, I think we're doing that. I'm sure there will be days when it's about that. How do you kind of use? Well, but those are those are some of those critical things that we have to get, have to uh, you know the focus penalties um, you know make sure that we got the alignments um, you know, we're looking at a couple different uh, you know sets offensively and just the the understanding of where guys need to be how they need to be aligned um, you know it's something that's a continued work in progress. How good has this week been for Chubba? You talked about those extra reps. Yeah, you know, I think it's I think it's been good for uh, you know for all our guys. And I mean, it's not you know, not you look at all positions. Uh, we came into it this week. You look at week one. Um, you know, it was it was something that we wanted to see McKenzie and Jordan really get the bulk of the reps. And you look back at the scrimmage and throughout the first week, and they were pushing probably 80 percent of it um, as we were rolling. So you know, Chuba and, and Tate, you know, had to, you know, spare spare opportunities. But as we've gone in the second week, you know, we really wanted to, to up that look. Um, you know, it's, uh, I think it's been good. It's been an opportunity uh, with McKenzie and Jordan to, to you know, allow them to, to deload at different different times and kind of go through their process and uh, preparing for September 5th. And you know, I'm excited about the, the, the steps that I've seen. I'm so excited about the opportunities and, and the situations that Chubb has been put in. Because once again, he went basically the last year without a whole lot of practice. And uh, you know, this has been really good for him. Uh, you know, he's making strides. He's having some some uh, some very positive moments, and then some moments to learn from. But uh, you know, he's he's approaching practice the right way, and uh, you know, I, I like the growth that I'm seeing. Now that's uh, the, the something the last day, uh, you know, day last two days, uh, we've had too many of. I mean, guys are making plays on the perimeter, but we just need a consistency of uh, play in and play out, making sure they're maximizing uh, uh, the opportunities. You know, we've had a couple drop pa passes uh, that, that we can't have. You know, we got some young receivers uh, that are be really put, being pushed on the fast track. And, you know, when you're you get in that second week and your body's sore, you know, you start losing focus, um, you know, at certain moments, and, and those things show up. And, you know, it's, they got to continue to push through, but, uh, you know, they are – Great young man. I know they're excited about uh, about their role and the potential role that they have in this offense. So uh, I know they're going to respond the right way. And just overall, with that fresh overall that true freshman class. I mean, you guys feel like you did as well as you thought you did. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's a really good group. I mean, it is uh, for the ability that these guys have. I mean, there's going to be a good number. I'd probably say five or six that I, that are going to have an opportunity to impact this team this year. Um, and then even the guys that, that don't, I mean, as they continue to grow and develop, I mean, it's 
it's a really good group, hard-working group. Um, you know, obviously, as we get closer to the game, uh, you know, game one, we'll see where that's at. Um, you know, the new the new uh, rule that start happened a couple years ago uh, with with those guys being allowed to play in four games. Uh, you know, that gives us a lot of flexibility as the season progresses, and so we'll see we'll see how that all plays out. Uh, but no doubt, I mean, I think we hit with this freshman group, and uh, you know, they were responding in the moment. Yeah, I do know where we are with the vaccination. We're getting closer to uh, to that to that point. We are uh, had uh, a lot of guys that have, that have made made you know, decisions to uh, uh, put themselves in the best best opportunity. Um, and when it comes to that, so. Uh, I feel good about where we are and where we'll be, especially uh, heading into the, to the first game. Is it crucial to hit that 85% mark, or is it being? Well, I mean, you know, it's at, at the end of the day. I mean, it, it's, you look across across the country. I mean, there is uh, it's a it's a volatile time in, in dealing with, uh, with with COVID and uh, you know the variants and all those things. And so we want to just make sure our guys are in, as safe as possible and put them in the best position. Uh, to be able to go out there and play those games that they love, you know, if there's, if there, whether it's you know, positive tests, whether it's contact tracing, any of those things, it, it, uh, guys are going to miss opportunity or miss time and opportunities, uh, which is which is a challenge. And so um, yeah, we, we definitely are, are looking forward to hitting that hitting that mark, and feel very confident that uh, you know, as we as we progress, I and mean, you know, we're going to be able to do so. Is the deloading something you guys mapped out going into preseason, or is it something that it's kind of touch and go and fluid? I mean, I you know, I get I get very specific data on workloads of what, what guys are doing, uh, every position from kickers to quarterbacks to number of throws to you know all that we're doing throughout practice. Um, and so as you look at workloads, it, uh, coupled with, you know, guys' history and, you know, if they're coming off an injury, if they have something that's ailing them, uh, we want to be smart to uh, to make sure that they get the work to that they need, but also, you know, not put them at risk for something that's going to extend for experience, uh, uh, you know, a longer period of time. And so, uh, you know, Coach Storms, uh, you know, uh, you know, Josh Chapman, I mean, you know, our whole crew, you know, Scott Trulick, I mean, they, we meet daily on every every player's workload, exactly where they are, and then we try to have put map out the best plan for what they need so that we're going to be ready to go come September 5th. Is it, is it tough to stick to that when you see McKenzie have, like, a good day yesterday? I, I, I don't know if you, like, really want to see him back out there again, back-to-back. Oh, I mean, we, we get plenty of opportunity to see guys have back-to-back have -back days and uh, continue to go out there and, and work at a high level. And so... Um, you build upon what you do the day prior, and that's, that's what we're going to continue to do. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks.